rub it in. Rub it in real good. <sighs> Tell all your buddies that you're an expert in rubbing meat. Welcome back Dominus Outfitters, I'm your host Tony, and today we're going to cook up beef brisket. Got it here, here I got, uh, blah, can't talk right now. Right here is a uh, 11 pound brisket that I got at the local grocery store because it was on sale. And it was too good of a deal to pass up. So I'm going to sit here and trim some of this fat off of it. And I'm going to show you how the, what kind of rub I put on it, and I'm going to show you how I cook it. And uh, we're going to get after it. Alright guys, I'm just trimming a little bit of this fat off this brisket. I mean, you get most, you get a lot of your flavor and tenderness from the fat, so you don't want to take too much off. I just take a little bit off. I leave, I try to leave at least a quarter inch, quarter inch across it. So I'll just trim the excess back. But depending on the type of brisket you get, it'll have more or less fat, so. Now that I got that done, show you all the secret ingredient, the secret rub. That right there is half a cup of salt, half a cup of pepper, and a quarter cup of garlic powder, all mixed together. Simple. Uh, what we're gonna, what you do is you just sprinkle it on there like this. Give it a good cover, and then we're going to rub that into the meat. And don't worry about adding a half a cup of salt. It, it doesn't make it salty. The salt actually helps tenderize the meat. So it won't, it's not going to taste salty, so don't be afraid to put the half a cup of salt in. It's going to help soften that meat up. It should look something like that. Rub it in. Rub it in real good. Tell your buddies that you're an expert in rubbing meat. Matter of fact, don't tell your buddies that. They'll either laugh at you or you'll have new buddies that... Never mind. I'm not even going to go there. Alright guys, I got my uh, big green egg right here. I got it fired up. It's it's heating up right now. I got it set up for indirect heat. So I got the what they call the plate setter in there. And then on top of the plate setter, I got a water pan and then my cast iron grill. So that's going to heat it up. I'm going to try to heat it up to about 250 and get it to stay at 250. And then I'm going to uh, put that brisket on there and then we're going we're gonna to get after it. But if you don't know how these green eggs work, I, I suggest you watch some YouTube videos. They're, they're awesome, awesome grills, smokers. I mean, I've cooked chickens, I've grilled chickens, grilled steaks, uh, smoked just about everything on here. Well, not everything, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. My mind is just, woo, out there today. But anyways, I've baked cookies on here. I've, I've baked pizzas on here. It's like a... You've never had a pizza until you've had a fire, it's like a fire brick oven pizza when you cook pizza on here. It's just, it's just awesome, guys. But, uh, yeah, I highly, highly recommend getting a, a big green egg. This, this is the large size, so there's, I think there's an XL and a double XL now. But when I got mine, it, it was only the lar the small, medium, large, and extra large. But this is a good all-around size, so... So I'll show you when we get this brisket put on here. We are at 250, so we are ready to go.
grab this big old piece of meat. Oh gosh, I gotta tuck him in. He's almost too big. Make sure you have a good meat thermometer. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it has been three hours since we put this brisket on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it off. And I'm gonna wrap it in butcher paper and we're gonna put it back on here. So that's the plan. Uh, this recipe uh, that I'm doing pretty much follows uh, Franklin Barbecue in Austin. That's pretty much his recipe. This is pretty much exactly how he does it. So I've tried it before and I've had really good success with it. So that's what we're doing. So let's take a opener up, take a look. Ooh. Bring you all in for a close up. Now that's a gorgeous piece of meat right there. I gotta figure out how to pick this sucker up. up. Mm. If you haven't noticed, it's really hot. I will leave the link for this butcher paper in the description box below. string does is just help hold it together. Alright ladies and gents, Diamond S Outfitter fans and fellow eggheads, we've got our brisket, we got it wrapped in the butcher paper, we're going to cook it fat side up, so all that fat just through that meat, and we're going to hold in all that moisture. So we're going to put this, put this back on, ooh nice and toasty in here. Sure, we're sitting on here, we're good. And I'm gonna cook it for about three more hours. And I'm running about, I'm running between 250 and 275. And then in about three hours, I'm gonna start checking the temperature. And I'm gonna cook it until it's an internal temperature of 203 degrees. And then after I cook it and it's at 203 degrees, I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna let it rest for two to three hours before we even open it up out of the paper or anything. So, check back in with you guys. Just look at that smoke. It's smoking like a runaway locomotive. I mean. All right guys, through the miracle of time, this brisket is done. It took nine hours, nine, nine and a half hours, but it's done. Still wrapped up. I just took it off. I just checked the internal temperature and it was 204. So it is very, it is very, very tender. So I'm checking my temperature with a good uh, internal thermom meat thermometer. This is a, I don't even know if y'all can see that. Focus, focus. There we go. I got a char broil. It's 
It's got different settings and stuff on it. It's pretty cool. I got it at Lowe's. Anyways, like I said, I just took it off. I'm gonna go. I'm not even gonna unwrap it. I'm just gonna go stick it in the oven right now. I'm not even gonna turn the oven on. I'm gonna stick it in the oven and I'm gonna let it sit and rest for about two, three hours, and then we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look at it, and then we're gonna eat it. All right, guys, welcome back. This brisket. It passes a sniff test. So, we're gonna unwrap this thing like a little kid on Christmas morning. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took this off. Obviously, obviously, it's the next day. So I took this off last night, and I stuck it in the. I just stuck it in the oven. I didn't turn the oven on or anything. I just stuck it in there. And then uh, I might have fell fallen asleep because it was pretty late. So. the greasiest present I've ever opened. I'll tell you one thing, this this butcher paper is awesome. Oh yes. Oh this sucker looks so good. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got to work with here. It's got a it's got a little bit of a smoke ring. Not what I was I was wanting a little bit more, but but you know what? It's good. It's tender, and I did it myself. That's all that matters. So I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all use this method cooking your own brisket. I mean, it's pretty easy. But uh, let me know how you like it. Let me know if y'all let me also let me know if y'all cook on an egg or let me just let me know what y'all cook on. I'm always looking for new ways to cook on stuff. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram on Dominus Outfitters Instagram page. Uh, I post a little bit on Facebook, not much, but if you want to follow me on Facebook, that'd be awesome too. And be sure to like, like this video, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up. And uh, I want to thank y'all. I want to thank all the new subscribers. And don't forget about our 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away some koozies and some stickers and stuff like that. So uh, again, guys, y'all are awesome. I want to thank y'all. We'll see you on the next one.